Here are some figurines I had out in a fairy garden at one time, and it was a little beach scene. Time and the sun just took its toll, and I thought I could I could repaint these and get them looking a little better and hopefully get them back to their former glory. I do want to make a few changes though. Um, they all kind of look the same. They had the same hair color, face, and eyes. I plan on repainting them so they have their own unique look and personality. One thing that's kind of strange about these are the eyes, um, how they were originally painted. They're just, something's off. It might be the proportion or something, but I need to make some changes there. Okay, let's get going. This is Magnolia, and I'm keeping her bathing suit that green color. I'm painting over the polka dots, but I'll, I'll add them later. Just adding color to her skin. Her hat, I wanted to be purple. Her hair, I kept black. She has a fruity drink. I'm fixing her eyes right now. Filling in the white, then I gave her blue eyes, black pupil, and I tried to paint her lips carefully. That didn't work out. Um, I fix it here. <laughs> Looks much better now. Give her rosy cheeks, a little dot of white on the eye, make her look more lively. Here's the polka dots. I used a dotting tool, and here she is. Magnolia convinced her friends to take a day off and go to the beach. Here's Annabelle. I kept her suit red. And her hair, I gave her blonde hair. I just ended up covering the glasses and everything. I had made her hat brown, the beach ball blue, and she is a little more fashionable one. She loves expensive sunglasses. Giving her some highlights. I'm fixing her little lipstick. She gets her polka dots. And even the beach ball gets its polka dots back. There she is. She looks really good. Annabelle always knew she'd look better as a blonde and she can't wait to go to the beach and show off her new style. Look out, fellas. So this is Gertrude. She's getting her face and her arms uh, refreshed. <laughs> her suit's a, a nice bright yellow again. I decided she would have brown hair. I I think it looks better with the yellow and the orange that she's wearing. I'm just filling in the whites and the eyes. I'll fix the where it went out of bounds there. For some reason, Gertrude always wears this life ring around her waist when she goes to the beach. She's looking much better with her makeup done. Put a little dot in her eye just to make her have a little shine in the eye. She's getting her polka dots. She looks great and she feels great. And she's all prepared to do some swimming when she gets to the beach. For this project, I used the Army Painter paints and the craft paint from Delta called Ceram Coat. When I paint stuff like this, I just put down color and I don't worry about staying in the lines at first. And then I go back over it with a different color to get more of the detail right. And it's nice to have an opaque paint that will do that in one coat. 
I used a glass coat from Rustoleum because I figured seeing the damage that they took being outside, uh, this offers a little UV protection, so hopefully that'll work. Wow, they look so good. We just can't wait to get back to the beach. Just as a reminder, here is the before picture. Definitely some bathing beauties here. So I made a, a beach umbrella out of, um, these are head pins from jewelry making supplies I had and I used some glass beads for the ends of the umbrella ribs. And I laid them out in this pattern and I stuck a, a dowel to a piece of pine and painted it white and that's the base I'm using here. And I'm just trying to get it off carefully. Um, at the top I put a bigger bead for the top of the umbrella. Hot glue is great. And then here's the fabric. Basically you just make a square. I was measuring to see how long the ribs are. And I cut a square matching that length. And then I just cut that quarter circle and it's the right size to fit the umbrella. I'm just cutting out right here for the bead at the top to fit around that. You can just kind of work with it, put some glue down on the ribs and watch your fingers. And then I just pinched the um, fabric around the ribs that had glue on them and it just made that kind of a nice, uh, where you can see the ribs. Uh, here I'm gluing the very end together. And there's some tension, so I didn't quite get it right the first time. I, uh, I had to undo it here. It worked out okay miraculously. <laughs> it looks really good. It's better than what I expected. Just to cover the top I made like a little... It, real umbrellas have it too. It's something that covers the top. I think it's for more like rain or something. Or it's vents for the wind that goes through the umbrella. Anyway, it helps cover up <laughs> the mess. <laughs> anyway, it looks good. I didn't plan on using polka dots, but there's a polka dot theme in this project, so it fits. Subconsciously, I guess, huh? This is the fun part when you get to put it all together. Here I'm adding the sand. The big shells are kind of funny, they're out of proportion, but I think it makes it look cute. First add the bigger items and stuff in the back. And that's driftwood I collected at the beach. Some dried seaweed, also from the beach, I collected. Here's magnolia coming in. And Annabelle. And Gertrude. Oh, she's facing the wrong way. There we go. Doing some adjusting. Looks good. Hmm, I forgot something. Hmm, still not quite right. Oh, that's what it is. I need to add a little 
campfire. Need to have some room for the fire pit on the beach, so... I took a piece of driftwood and I cut it into small pieces and then I used a lighter to kind of char it on the ends that looked like it had been in a fire. Campfire is ready to go. Need to add a few more shells. And that piece of seaweed's very important. And so is that little piece of shell. It had to be there. And I think that's the last shell I put in. <laughs> and it's finished. Gertrude, what are you doing, girl? Why aren't you swimming in the ocean? Well, you know, the ocean is mighty scary, and I'm swimming just fine in this here sand. Oh, goodness gracious, she's at it again. Oh, dear. Well, at least she's getting some exercise. 